Hey guys, welcome back to Manicro Custom Guitars and welcome to the second part of the LED fretboard build. In this part two, I'm going through some details about the mixing of the epoxy, what kind, what I did, quantities, and then I'm going to go through the pouring. Okay, so let's roll the intro and we can begin. So now that I have the cavities for the resin milled down, now it's time to mix the resin and do the pouring. Now this is a clear resin, it's meant for this kind of casting and with it I'm going to mix some white paint because I did the first experiment and this was the first experiment for this type of fretboard. I use just the clear resin and you can see literally the wood of the neck and the light distribution isn't really good with a clear resin. That's why I want to add some white paint just to make it more diffusible. Now, this was the second experiment that I did, and this I used this shellac base ink to mix with the resin, and the diffusion effect was very good. In fact, you can see it's not clear, it's frosted, but the resin, it has some sort of white particles rather than a, a smooth white transition so for this time i'm thinking to try an acrylic um, base paint an acrylic paint and see how that will go this is a two to one mix ratio to resin one harder and to do that, I'm using this paint mixing cup, which has a to one mixing ratio. I have to say that this is a, a slow curing resin. In fact, curing time for this resin is around seven days. But even after four and four, even after the fourth day, it's good to, to be machined. To do something like this is very, it's recommended to use this kind of resin i mean not exactly this this product but this kind of resin because in the beginning i was thinking to use uh, the west system epoxy but i have some west system epoxy but when i mix it it comes it has that yellow tint to it so yeah something like this clear resin is much better for this kind of job Let's mix the paint. I'm using a syringe for better application. And let's hope for the best. I don't think I'm going to put a lot. Now 
In the direction it states needs at least two minutes of mixing. And I think at this point it's looking very good. I'm checking for bubbles. Now, regarding the bubbles, I'm going to hit it with heat gun. On low speed. And that should do it. Now, let's do the pouring. Just before I pour the resin, I want to make sure there's no dust in the cavities. And now, it's time to pour the resin. Since there are small cavities, I'm pouring the resin very slowly, just to avoid air pockets. I'm not worried about the overspill. I can easily do another face pass with the CNC. Actually, I do want some overfill, so I'll be sure that they are all filled up properly. Now, as I said, this resin will take out around five, six to seven days to, well, seven days to be fully dried, but around the fourth day, even the fifth day, should be good for milling, for cutting. But during, in between, I will, well, especially today and tomorrow, I will keep an eye on them because sometimes the, the, the wood, especially the, the second test piece that I did, it was maple, the wood was kind of absorbing most of the resin. So yeah, time by time, it needs to be topped up. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. In the next episode, I'm going to go through of some of the tool pets for the next step, bits that I used, a machining strategy in Fusion 360, and some machining footage. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. Share it with your friends. And if you're enjoying my content, Please, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. I do CNC and guitar building content. And until the next time, take care and goodbye.